Hello everybody, BearGhost here, and welcome back to episode 2 of my season 3, Bear's Adventures in Minecraft. And we are at the loading screen for a reason. Uh, one, I added in a couple more mods that were suggested to me. Um, this will probably be the end of them because I don't want to overload the game too much. I'm starting to notice that it's starting to drop a little bit in the frames, so I don't want to push it too much. But I changed texture packs. We are currently using the uh, Sfax Pure BD Craft uh, version 1.2.5. I am also uh, running the Matmos Sounds mod. I am also running a new uh, mod called um, Minecraft Comes Alive and the Timber mod. So for those of you who don't know what Timber mod is, basically if you hit the bottom of the tree with an axe, the whole tree crumbles down, which is pretty cool. And the Minecraft Comes Alive is if you find an NPC village, you can actually interact with the NPCs, you can marry them, you can have kids, you can give them gifts, you can create families, and it makes the NPC villages a lot more interactive, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and create a brand new world. Let's see, and I've got a seed here. Somebody had told me about a seed that we can put in that takes you right to an NPC village, so we can start our adventures with an NPC village. So. There's the seed there, and if you guys are wanting to go to this world, I can put this in the description as well for you guys. So we'll just go ahead and click Done. And I think we're good to go. So I'm going to leave this new world for whatever reason. When I type into this, it closes out the game, but I can go back and edit it. But we'll just go ahead and create it for now. And there we go. So by the looks of it, everything is still loading up. There's our NPC village right there, actually. Got the Ray's mini-map installed as well, which is really nice. Okay, so now that this is all generating, I'm going to pause it here, and then I'm going to come back, rename the world, and let the rest of this uh, generate. So we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and name this Bears Adventures Season Three. Done. Okay, now we should be able to jump right back into this world. It'll resave the chunks for us. There we go. Drop a bubble scum 100 blocks with a merciless achievement. Not exactly sure what all these books of lore just spawned us with. Are. But hey, there's a cave right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop all these books in here. I'm not sure why it spawned them all for us, but we'll go ahead and put those in there for now. And there's our NPC village. And one of those mad scientist guys, which we need to get rid of really quickly, actually. Because if... He, oh, and a baby. Because if that mad scientist creates a uh, one of those towers in the village, I think that's going to be very catastrophic for us. <laughs> so let's come over here really quick. Let's chop down this tree. Let's get some of our basic stuff really quick. I think we only need like two pieces of uh, wood to make a bench and some sticks here. We'll get that. Another workbench really quickly. Some sticks. We're going to need another log. So you guys can hear the Matmos sounds as well in the background, the birds chirping in the wind. That's one of my favorite mods right there. It makes it so realistic. Okay, so let's go ahead and get an axe here. Standard pickaxe. There we go. So now, as you guys will see, when we chop down a tree, just like that, all the wood now collapses right on top of our head. That is so awesome. And all you gotta do is just chop down the very base of the tree and it all collapses down for you. So we can really rake in the wood now. Just like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I would like to create a sword because I want to go kill that mad scientist really quick. I don't want him destroying our village over there. So there was a cave just over here somewhere that I think we can dive into really quick. Yeah, right here. There's some stone for us. Oh, and there's some coal right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some more sticks here. There we go. 
pick those back up. Let's get three pieces for a pickaxe and then two for a sword. Not sure why I hit that one way down there, but whatevs. Okay. There's our pickaxe. And then let's make this sword really quick so we can go take care of that scientist guy. There we go. Alright, let's go take care of him really quick. We don't want him building that tower. Where is he? He was just around here somewhere. Did he go down there somewhere? No. Where is he? Well, these are some of the NPCs, by the way. Like, if you right-click them, like, this is Jennifer the Farmer, and the hearts represent how much she likes you. Currently, she doesn't really find me very attractive. And then you've got, um, this guy here. Oh, excuse me, bear. This guy here, this is Justin. He's only got one heart. You can max them at 100 hearts. And when you get the player to 100 hearts, it will, um, then they'll start to like you. Yeah, so he's only 100 hearts there. I don't know where that science, that mad scientist guy went. We we're going to go ahead and take care of him. Ooh. Yeah, I don't see where he went anywhere. Leon the miner. See, he's got five. Or she, or I guess that's a he. Then you've got... Uh, Amy the Librarian, and you can do all sorts of stuff with these guys. You can actually get them to 100 hearts, you can marry them, have babies with them, and it's it's really, really cool. I'm not finding where this uh, mad scientist guy went, so I think we might be safe. I'm just worried that he was going to create one of those towers right in the middle of this NPC village, because we actually got pretty lucky with this one, so we can actually create... A little army guy there. We will need this pig for some food, though. He didn't drop any food. Oh, I forget. I think it's the more recent patches where they're guaranteed to drop food with every kill, isn't it? Oh, he dropped one at least. So, yeah. So, I think that's the case. Don't know where that mad scientist went, but... Huh. Interesting enough. We'll just go ahead and keep plugging away at it then we've got uh, all sorts of caves around us an assortment of goodies we've also got a house to stay the night in here we just need to uh... good day to you bear ghost hey Rachel knew my name Ooh, and she's got three hearts see you could chat with her what's up Rachel how you doing oh yeah I think I forgot to do something so I have to go <laughs> Rachel no longer likes us she has zero hearts <laughs> All right, whatever then, Rachel. Fine, be that way. All right, so... Let's see here. Rachel doesn't... Oh, there's the guard. The guard actually will protect the village, and um, if there's any monsters that come in here, he'll actually go around and protect the village for us, which is pretty cool. Actually, what I think I'm going to do, I think this is wool right here. Yes, it is. We're going to steal that piece of wool from their little lantern there. I do believe there is another torch around here. Oh, hello, Bear Ghost. Bear Ghost, was it? Yes. See, they actually recognize your name, your Minecraft character's name. Is that the only torch these people have? Is the one? I was going to steal all their torches, but I don't see that they've got any more. Oh. Oh. I would fall down inside there, wouldn't I? Yeah, I'm not seeing any more sheep around. We've got a bad baby off in the distance there. We need to find a couple sheep so that way we've got a bed to sleep in for now. Oh, and it's one of those horses, too. Ooh, an egg. I'll take that. Oh. That robot just took, took that guy away. That's, oh, and we got one of those fluke things over there, too. Man, there's not a single sheep for days here, is there? I don't 
don't see any sheep for us to make a bed. What time is it anyway? It's getting to be around noon or so, so we've got a little bit of time left. There's that mad scientist over here. I don't know if that bull is aggressive or not. That red one might be. <laughs> Not sure if I can kill this guy. Oh, there we go. We killed him. What did he just give me? Two blocks of sand? Is that what he threw at me? Oh, we got a cat. And a snake. And not a single sheep anywhere. Oh my goodness. That's all we need is some sheep. No sheep. There's a lot of mad scientists around these parts, but at least they're away from the village. That's good. Who is this? I don't want that. I want Where'd I put my phone? Huh, Okay. I've never seen her before. Oh, it's one of those thieves. Gotta stay away from him or else he'll steal something from us. Well, that's some pretty bad luck there, guys. We've, uh... Oh. There's some eggs there. Let's see if I think that thief is following me. Yes, he was. Huh, no sheep anywhere, but you know what? That's fine, we'll just have to wait out the night. We've at least got a couple of houses here to start out with. That'll be good for now, I think. We've also got a cave nearby. This place doesn't even have a door. It's like a little lookout tower, I think. Yeah, I think that's what this is. It's like a cool little lookout tower for us. Oh, there's a piece of wool over there. We can go and snag as soon as I figure out how to get out of here. Oh, there's the third one. Nice. We'll take this one. Thank you. And then if we come on over here, we'll take this one too. Very nice. Now we can make ourselves a bed. Oh. Outstanding. That place is a little too small to uh, to live in. This one's a little bit better. Has no door though. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a workbench down and let's create ourselves a bed because it looks like it's getting to be nighttime here. And I put those in the wrong spot. There we go. Now we've got ourselves a bed. Now we can slap a bed down. You can only sleep at night. Oh, I thought it was getting ready to be nighttime. We need to create a door for this place, though. Before. Hey. Oh, she's sleeping. She's standing up sleeping. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I'm going to go ahead and create a door for your house here, ma'am, because uh, I don't want anything to come in here after us in the middle of the night. Oh, everybody's sleeping now. Let's put that door up. Let's come inside. Can I sleep now, too? I can sleep now, too. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, I woke up inside your house. Sorry about that, but I had nowhere else to go. And I built us a door, at least. What is your name, by the way? Who are you? Rachel. This is the one... Oh, you got two hearts for me now. Can I tell you a joke? That's a good one. Oh, we got her to three. Let's chat with her. I've heard others say the same. Oh, is that right? Okay. Um, how about let's gift her a sapling. Let's see if she'll like a sapling. Let's gift her the sapling. <laughs> Why do you insist on giving me trash? That's all I've got. How about a wooden pickaxe? Do you want a wooden pickaxe? We'll gift her that. Oh, how thoughtful of you chat with her again. Yeah, it's really boring here. Oh, she, she liked that. Okay, I thought she was saying I was boring. Let's tell her a joke. That's just too funny. See, we got her to 12. I think the best way to get her to 100 is to give her, like, really, really good gifts. Like, if you give her diamonds, she'll really start to, to like you a lot better. So, at any rate, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. So, I do apologize if it's a little bit short of an episode, but I wanted to get you guys another episode out. Uh, while we've got a couple of new mods. So for those of you who are going to ask what new mods we've added, if you didn't watch the beginning, we added the Matmos Sounds mod. That's what you're hearing in the background with the wind and the birds. We added the 
Minecraft Comes Alive mod, which is what you're seeing in front of you now, where you can interact with the NPCs, and it changes the generic NPCs in Minecraft to actual players. We've also added in a new texture pack, which is the Sfax Pure, Pure BD Craft. I'm using the 128 one. And we added in the Timber mod. So I'm going to add all the mods in below in the description if you guys are interested. Um, I will not put the links to them, though. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking any of them up, all you got to do is just do what I did and Google them. Because I went through a lot of mods or a lot of websites and a lot of clicking links and click this. And it takes you to this and then click this video to this. It took a little bit of work. Um, so to go through and put links to that would be kind of hard because those links... And then people are going to not be able to find it because they're going to click that link and it's not there because they've got to click another link. But it's not that hard. I'm sure you guys are smart enough to use Google and find the, the different mods yourself. So, But I will put what I'm using in the description below. That way, if you guys are interested in picking up this exact same layout I've got here, you guys can follow it as well. So hope you guys enjoyed another Bears Adventures in Minecraft Episode 2. We'll see you guys next time.